Hello guys, here I have in front of me the Noctagon M43 VN. Uh, this is not a brand new release. I've had this light on my store for quite a while and it's been selling very, very well. And because of that, I was just kind of lazy to make a video and talk a little bit about it. But today, I feel the need that I should make a video for this light because I'm releasing a new iteration which will have XPL PDT and Dryer VNX2. And the performance is, is um, a huge step over all of the previous versions, okay? So let's first take a look at what's in the box and then we'll talk more about the new iteration that we have here. Very typical um, budget-like paper cardboard box, all right? However, there are nicely padded foam cut out. And for the most part, I throw away the box in my personal light, so it's not like the box matter all that much. So, what do we have here? We have a uh, lanyard. Let's see if it's any good. Usually, these lanyards are just junk. Oh, this one's average quality, actually. Yeah, it looks like something that will come with a point-and-shoot camera. Uh, definitely better than the, the typical budget ones, okay? Not the best quality, but definitely better than the, uh, the, the lower quality ones. So we have two O-rings, and I imagine those O-rings goes in the neck of the light. And okay, we want to see the holster here. Uh, very nice, decent holster. <laughs> they went the full extent of having the Velcro all the way across. Not, not totally not necessary, but it's there, it's all the way around. Um, Okay, so carabiner loop here. Okay, so there's a back here where you can just run your belt through if you want, or you don't have to, you can run it through this Velcro loop. Uh, probably less secure, but then you can remove your light um, from your belt more easily, all right? The holster is okay. Good enough quality that covers the entire light. All right, O-rings, let's put all these stuff aside and let's talk a little bit about the light. Uh, the Hank from International Outdoors is the man behind this light. And if I'm not mistaken, he's the man behind the Noctagon brand. Um, I could totally be wrong there, but uh, I buy, he's my supplier and I believe that he's the person behind this project. And because he's in the modded, uh, modded flashlight parts, uh, he's, selling, he's into selling parts for modded lights. And, and he's been in there in the, in the industry for a while, so obviously this light is a, uh, it's a semi custom modded light that's mass produced. Okay? The reason I said that is because the user interface is uh, the factory light has a user interface with three different type of uh, user interface that you can program to. So not many uh, factory lights out there has user programmable interface, but this one from the factory does. And it does very well, the factory light does very well, um, with the three different user interface. I'm not a fan just because um, I'm so used to the quick tactical feel of Jara VNX2. It's just so fast to access the lowest mode, the highest mode, and instant strobe if you needed to. And I like it how you can have uh, just several modes or up to six different levels if you so choose. So, um, and, and Drive VNX2 push things to the absolute limit and is extremely reliable. It's almost impossible to kill a Drive VNX2. I have run it in many applications where there's excessive heat and Drive VNX or Drive VN is just last. They, they, just, they just work. So I have full faith in the circuit. So, and as I said, it pushes the output to the limit and that's the goal of all of my likes. So in this light, I tossed the original circuit and put in Darby and X2, and then uh, I put in 12 XPL PDTs. Those are very hard to get, right? And to, to, to get 12 in here, that's a lot of LEDs. So that's why it drives the cost way up. The, uh, the most popular version of this light that I've been selling in my store is the Goldilock version, which has X combinations of cool white and neutral white XPG2's D-Dome. And that version put out a very nice stout uh, 6100 lumen. All of these are ANSI numbers. 61, about 6100 lumen, uh, 6200 lumen, and 640 meters of throw. And that has been a very popular selling, uh, selling light because something this small, this tiny, putting out 6200 lumen and uh, and 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 60 uh, um, 
a hundred I'm sorry a hundred K lux and 640 meters of throw is very impressive so but recently uh, with the new iteration XPL PDT I was able to achieve 11,000 lumen so that's 5,000 lumen more than the XPG2 D dome version okay the Golden lock version and uh, the Lux is very close. The XPG2's uh, go to lock version puts out 100K Lux, 640 meters of throw, and this PDT version, XPL PDT version, puts out 90K Lux. So it's just 10K Lux less, and when you convert that to meters of throw, it comes out to 600. So you get 600 versus 640. In real life, you cannot really see the difference in 40 meters of extra throw, okay? But the 5,000 lumen output and the larger hot spot is, is, is real. It's, it's, it's very, very apparent. Uh, however, there are still two reasons to pick the Go to Lock over this version. First of all, the Go to Lock version starts out at $340. And the, uh, the, this version, the XPO PDT, is $425. So that's $85 difference. And on top of that, the Go to Lock has a very nice... Uh, tint and that's the reason why I call it the go to lock tint. Okay, a balance of throw and just beautiful tint uh, The XPL PDT has a slight hint of green especially on the lower modes But it's really not that bad on their higher level and this is more so on a white wall if you on a if you're out on Vegetations or any other objects with varying colors. You won't be able to see the hint of green very um, all that much All right um, Let's talk a little bit about the construction of the light it's a very, very well, thoroughly thought out light, very well made. And I'll just show you a little bit here. The, this base right here is made out of solid copper where the spring sits on top. So the springs, usually you would need to double springs, the uh, double, uh, double stack the springs for higher current transfer. But for this light, you don't even need it because the springs are very well made. They're large, uh, gold plated and is mounted directly on top of this very thick copper and PPCBs just for heat, um, just for current transfer. And all of the transfer points, all of the, the heat transfer points are extremely well thought out and engineered. So that's the reason why with four cells in here at made in parallel, you can get those cells to, to transfer the current fully. All right, and the light heat sinks very well. Usually you will have a little pill that twists into the head, not on this light. The whole entire light is uh, the whole entire head is machined from one piece, where the where there's a, where all the LEDs sit on a very large and thick noctagon styled um, MBPCB's copper board, and uh, is screwed down to the to the head. So, because we have excellent heat sinking, this light gets hot very fast. And and with four cell here, we're driving this light to the absolute limit. Oh, well, one thing to note uh, with driving an X2, you have four of these cells. In parallel so parallel is a very safe uh, way to run lithium ions so the, if you have a series of lithium ions and if they're at an, if you, an even charge um, the one uh, the, the uneven amount of charge can take can heat up one of the cells to explosions or leak or fumes and uh, that's not very often that it happens but it could happen and the uh, and the result can be quite catastrophic so but with a parallel design you don't really need to worry about that uh, for this light, you will definitely need unprotected hydrants, and there is, uh, you need it for the max performance, and you need it because the light will just draw too much power, and any protected cells circuit will just trip and will not work in this light. Um, I've already demonstrated Drive VNX plenty of times, but I'll just do it again real quick. Press and hold for low, and then double click for turbo, and then if you turn it on, the light will always turn on in the last mode memory. And once the light is on, you press and hold to cycle through the different levels. So the key is press and hold for low and double click from on or off for instant turbo. And that's something I really, really like from, from, from my user interface. That's about all I can say about the light. Uh, there's, uh, there's nothing that I can complain about this light. It's probably the best light, not for the money, it's quite expensive, but it's the best light, pop can light, with the best quality materials in this size with performance um, to with uh, flood and throw in, in, in a package this small. So uh, if you look at past the price, <laughs> then it's possibly the best pop can light, the best compact light that puts out that much output. It gets ultra hot on turbo. 
ultra hot within with XP, XPL PDTs in a minute it'll be too hot but you have that output you have 11,000 lumen when you really need it and you know what you can have up to six different levels you don't always have to run the light on on the max output run it on level three level four one of the mid mid tier level and you can run the light for quite an extended amount of time and still maintain great output but you know if you needed it you can have 11,000 lumen at at your touch and being able to run parallel cells and you can run two cells or just a single cell and the light will still operate that's a huge plus also i highly highly recommend this light if you can only have one pop can light this is the light to get all right thank you